data entry examples. Before you start any data entry, make sure you speak to your curator first. There are a lot of different options available in data entry. In each collection, they choose the fields that they are interested in differently. Uh, so I'm going to enter data for a great horned owl today. So I go to enter data, data entry. I choose a new bird record. Remember, yellow are the fields that you have to enter information for. Uh, white are ones you can choose. And if you ever get confused, you can click on documentation and it'll take you to a basic description and then uh, you can link to the Arcturus help. All right, so let's get started. So my bird has a catalog number. I have a custom ID type for the lab prep catalog here. And then the custom ID number, accession. get to choose options. I already had to create the accession before I could catalog or data enter. I have to have already entered my collectors. And first I'm actually going to put down the preparator. So the student who prepared the specimen. Now I'm going to put down the collector of the bird. Other ID types. So uh, our museum has a tissue catalog. So we always enter the tissue catalog ID number. Scientific name. Here I have to go through the Arctos taxonomy and pick which one that's already entered that I get to choose. Now I'm going to say who'd made this ID. How I made this ID, and I made this ID by examining the specimen. And then I like to put down what date. a little space for remarks, but I don't have any. That was pretty straightforward. All right, sex. Age. So I put no data recorded because our preparator didn't record a specific age. Fat. Molt. And for birds, this can be complicated because molt can be complicated. But in this case, we're lucking out. It's a non-passering, so we don't record ossification. Wait, making sure I have the right units. So when did my student prepare the specimen? And who did all these measurements? And you notice there's actually only one student with this last name. So when I entered it straight in here, Arctos entered that info for me. If there were multiple people with this last name, I'd have to choose. Now I get to add in attribute data. So reproductive data, I like to rewrite out testes because sometimes people don't know what TE stands for. We 
have a remark about their color. But look, I have date and determiner. And truthfully, it's the same person, so I can just hit sync and sync. And it adds it in for me. There's a whole bunch of other attributes I could add. But what I'm most interested in for this specimen is our prepared or recorded stomach contents. So I want to add that. All right, so the very first event determiner is actually going to be the collector. and the date that they actually picked up the bird. And it's wild caught. The collection method is salvage. The verbatim locality for our museum, we enter this straight from the preparator's notes. Verbatim date, uh, this isn't in a set format. I could enter whatever I want here, but I actually have a date, so that's nice. And now if, say, like I had a month that didn't have, uh, and I didn't have a specific date, say just January 2016, here I could sit there and give you a begin and end date that ranges in that verbatim date because the determination date for this specimen event, uh, I would choose the latest date possible up here. Mm -hmm. Higher geography, uh, I get a select ones from within Arctos, and I can do that by entering in uh, some basic info. And then selecting from the list. North America and Teton County. That's the one I want. Specific locality, everything below county. I don't have any original latitude, longitude units or anything like that, so we're going to go straight into parts. I get to choose what type of skin and the condition where it is in the collection, actually in the collection, how many there are, there's only one, and then other parts I actually have. So I have tissue. And we record remarks, specifically the types of tissue in abbreviation. So the prepared to save the heart, kidney, muscle, and liver. And then I record again our tissue number, just for reference. And then the preparator also saved the stomach. And he told me what ethanol. All right, now at this point, I could save this because I've entered in all of the yellow fields. And if I did it right, I should turn into another green screen for the next catalog. There it is. And if I want to edit the last record, I click edit and then it takes me to the blue edit screen. 
My name is Beth Womack. I'm from the University of Wyoming Museum of Vertebrates. I hope that was a basic example of how you do data entry for a bird.